What's up guys, Hobbo88 here and welcome back to Assetto Corsa for the next instalment of our 2018 version of Australia Supercars playthrough. This week we're in Auckland, uh, Pukekohe for the Auckland Super Sprint, the next round of the championship which is this weekend and we are back in Assetto Corsa using the V8 Corsa V8 Supercar mod, playing our way through the 2018 championship. Without any further ado, let's get this race underway. Here we are starting from back in 24th position on the grid. Waiting for the lights to go out. And we're away. Now, a while ago, several videos ago on the championship, look at this for a start. Oh, down the inside. Probably better get too greedy. Uh, I had a couple of people request that I run in Garth Tander's GRM Commodore, so that's what we're doing. We are in Garth's number 33, Gary Rogers Motorsport. Commodore is the AI. Getting all wobbled up at the start here. We're just going to sneak as many spots as we can, while we can. Try and make our way forward. We're up to 19th and 24th already. We've got a 40 lap race here. It's a short layout, a short track. Brake lock there. Down into the chicane. AI is still trying to sort themselves out. We go around the outside of the Red Bull Commodore. We're going to try and get down the inside of the Milwaukee Falcon as well, which we do. We've already made up several spots, which is good. Oh, spot for the car in front to break. It's a very tricky track. Well, it's short and fairly simple in layout, it is quite complicated to get a good lap around here. Oh! A little door to door contact. And I'm just noticing as well that, for whatever reason, my window textures aren't working for the mod. So I have no idea who's who because I cannot see the numbers on the windows. <laughs> Makes it a little tricky to know who exactly we're racing against. Not that it really matters. Oh, that's a huge moment! Water tires really not quite fully up to temperature. Getting tricked there. over the little rise in the left-hand kink. We're just waiting forever to get the power down onto the main straight with this right-hander. I have just updated the mod as well. I haven't updated it in ages. I've just downloaded the most recent version of the Head Scorson mod. Link in the description below. But yeah, I hadn't realised that the window textures weren't working. Something for me to look at for the next video. Now that the AI have strung themselves out, they're quite quick. Making it canes through the little chicane. waiting patiently to get that power down. Feed the power on, we've got a good run onto the straight, we should get this move done. Sneak it down the inside. Oh! And again, 
AI super strong under brakes. A little bit of port door contact there. And the Andretti car goes around. They're under threat. I believe Davison on the outside. Car. That was James Courtney. He's re James Courtney. He's retired from that. Oh, just couldn't quite get the power down. Just the baseline setup as well for those wondering. It's the default setup. Whatever's on the car when you load in. Change the thing. Missed the turn in completely on the left there. I don't know why, I just didn't turn in. Alright, feed the power down. Looks like we're chasing Lowndes next. Already on lap 5 of 40. Very patient. Feeding the throttle in carefully. Sacrifice our corner entry to get a good run onto the straight. We're going to be down the inside of Lowndes at turn one. We've seen the AI be extremely aggressive under brakes. Oh, that's a bit iffy. Definitely left enough room there. Looks like Lowndes went off. That. I don't know if the sound just changed for you guys, but it did for me. Headset drivers. Feels like it should be first gear through here. Second gear through here, not first. So far, since uh, we got settled into us on the track, we've had two cars. We passed them, we've both of them in the fence. People ask me almost every other day. What's better, Automobilista or Assetto Corsa for V8 supercars? I really love these Assetto V8s to drive. I think they're awesome fun to drive. The tracks are great, they look good. They feel pretty good to drive. But my biggest issue is always, are you planning to race them against the AI? Because, as you can see, the AI are just so out of control. I've turned down the aggression for this video too, since the Gold Coast, where we had heaps of trouble. That still seems to be just as bad. See if we can get a clean move done on Frosty. Just understeer it off into the grass a little bit there. at the final corner, hampers our progress, can't get the power on early enough, we've got a big run but we're not going to be quite close enough, the steering feels almost a little bit vague since the last update. So I changed it.
go. Got the big run on the straight. Sail pass for us. We should clear him before the first corner. We do. A little aggressive. Through the exit, ran wide. Couldn't get the optimal line for the left-hander, but that's okay. I love how these cars slide and you can catch it. It's a lap nine already. We're about to approach one quarter race distance. Big send, Boston. We get the drive off the outside there. We get that pass done. That's a send, a dive bomb. I don't know how we actually stopped that. Threat though. Let's look at really an overtaking position through this part of the track though. Just picking up the inside curb a little there on the right hander. That was beautiful. Under lap 10. Stuck the nose in. Compromise the line. Lee Holdsworth through that area of the track, so we get a better run onto the back straight. Might be able to sneak 12th place here under brakes this time. Oh, again, the AI just gives me no room at all. Makes it extremely challenging to get past. The big dive bomb is almost the best way to do it. slow getting back to the power there. Do get a big run on the straight though. There's not really anywhere to go there. A bit of wheel spin through the right hander coming onto the back straight too so we've got a bad run. The toe is going to help. Late under brakes, Holdsworth was. Yeah, we get the power down here. That's a really, really scary spot to have contact. How we got through there, I'll never know. So two more and we're into the top ten. so much better mid corner speed bit of bump there that's all good try and set up a move down the main straight cover him. Very average. We do manage to get it done, although we're still 
bouncing across curves and half out of control all the way down onto the main straight. Next we've got one of the Erebus cars. Obviously not a nice bling shiny livery, but the regular default livery. Get one more spot, we'll get into the top 10. Here we go, big run. Using that exit, a bit of asphalt off to the left hand side of the track. We do the same move two laps in a row. It's wide, get the power down early. This time we make the next corner a bit better. Nice move. We're in the top 10 on lap 14. Oh, God. I've got my field of view set further back as well because I'm on a single monitor here for this. And uh, the bonnet feels like it's a mile away out in front. I keep hitting the back of cars, not realising I'm so close to them. Oh dear, we're a bit wide. Okay, inside here. That's nice on the inside curb. You don't want to pick up this one. Enough sense the car while you're trying to get the power down for the back straight. Half a chance, half a sniff of another big dive bomb here. Again, the AI car just turns in like I'm not even there. Big door to door contact, but we get the spot done, we get the move done. Up to P9. Very deep under brakes at the hairpin. Uh oh. Oh. That was extremely lucky. Extremely lucky. Could have easily been turned around there by the AI car behind us. But it checked up. Got away with it. Approaching half race distance. I think we're going to get all the way to the front this one. Block pass. Drag race now. Turned out to be a nice move. Of course, I don't do any practice for these videos, so I've just jumped straight in. And um, now I'm starting to get a feel for it. I'm starting to feel out how the cars drive. It's a little rusty to start. Now it's feeling awesome. The way that the cars just turn and grip the mid corner feels so much better than like eye racing supercars. Still feel a little vague on the turn in. Now the nice 
characteristic is that you can catch the slide in these a lot easier. It's like this corner here where the car just grips up nicely on the mid corner. It feels soft, the car feels soft, whereas the V8s on the RS feel super rigid. See the way these cars ride across the curves and the corners in real life? They're not supposed to feel that rigid. Slade's rear bumper there. And hurry up. Let him know that I'm there. Just a little touch right on the apex of the corner. Short shift second at the hairpin to try and get the power down. The tyres are starting to get a little bit greasy. No pit stops. This race either, I don't think. Should be a straight sprint. Off. Same thing that happened with Lowndes. Barely even touched there, honestly. I'm leaving more than enough room for the AI, but they're just driving into my door. I do have the damage turned down, I think. Slade retired. It's just a little frustrating that the AI, you can't race them. You know, the way you'd expect. It's one of the beauties of online competition. It's also one of the good things about Automobile East that the AI is just really spot on. So at the end of this lap we'll be halfway. deep under brakes that was. That was impressive. That was full speedway stuff off the corner there. Using up that rear tyre. So it'll be halfway as we cross the line. You guys are still tuned in and still watching. I'm interested to get your thoughts. Who do you think is going to win the championship this year? At this point, pretty tight. Just to get your thoughts. I think Scotty deserves one after last year. But I don't know. Something tells me that he's not going to win it. see what you guys think. Oh, very slow through that left-hander. Almost got a really good run off the hairpin there, just burst into wheel spin right at the end of the rev range. That was scary. That big run off the corner. Here we go. Down the inside on the main straight. We're going to gain this spot.
creep up on the back of Blanchard, who's just announced that he's not going to push on again next year. His last season this year. I believe that's what I saw in the Facebook feed a little earlier. Puzzle, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, just into the rear bumper. Left hander getting caught out by how slow they are through there. Probably could have thought about a big dive there, but what? So I got my teammate Golding leading the race with a little bit up there. And the two Penske Johnson cars. And Waters running in fourth. And if we can get this spot done here, which we can just us into the top five. Oh, let's misjudge that. A little bump. There's a punt. Glad he caught that. I was a little distracted actually. I got all uh, mesmerized by the glowing brake rotors on that car. That looked pretty cool. I don't know if you guys saw that. Just a little touch, those sort of things. Are we close enough? Not quite this time. Teammate up there has got a little bit of a lead. We'll try and clear these cars and catch up to as quick as we can. Here's a big run. Know that the AI is super strong under brakes. I'm not even going to fight it. He can just have that. We'll get it later. It's just going to be contact if I stick my nose and keep it in there. It's a little annoying that the AI don't. Oh, we're on the grass. Oh, that's that's a bit iffy. Just got that stop. It's a little frustrating that the AI just don't recognise when they're side by side and turn in. It's hard to get nice clean racing with them. Oh, we're wide again. The tyres are starting to scream. We're safe from behind. A bit of garbage on the tyres though for the next couple of quarters. AI cars very good under brakes, then they're very slow through the mid corner. It's an unusual combination. Oh, a bit of grass. I'm going to try and let the tyres come back to me a little bit here. Big run. We should have this done before we get to the corner. Oh, we've got a little bit of limiter though. We'll shift from fourth to fifth. Nearly got it stopped. Nice pass in the end. 
Alright. Kind of try and dispatch a couple of Falcons. Slowly creeping up on him. There's a nice flow about this track. Miss the left hander, the jump there over the apex of the left hander. It's a soft line and then wide on the exit of the final turn, but not too bad. Covered it pretty well. Alright, we're nearly there. Can we try and sneak a spot on the podium? Whereabouts are we going to get this one done? straight if we can hit this last corner nicely oh we're a little bit up on the curb had to lift and get the big run a little better of it it's hard going down the inside there you really tighten up this corner whoa judge that a bit that progress to catch up to him gone, I'll have to do it again. I mean, we don't have a heap of laps left to get to the front here. This time by, but next time by, we'll mark three quarter race distance. These guys are a little faster, a little harder to get past front of the field. So the AI, they are set to 100% difficulty as well, before someone asks that, although they probably already have <laughs> at this point in the video, they would have asked that already. If you were thinking about asking, that's axed out. It's difficult as we can make these guys. The AI aggression set to somewhere like 55% now, instead of 75% where I had it for the Gold Coast. Oh. Little bump as well, just a little tap and again. Just against an AI driver, it doesn't have a big effect, but against a, a real life driver, whether it be in a real car or a sim, little bumps on the like that. Hand cause a mistake to happen. The pressure. 
quite close enough here at turn one again. Oh, this will be a bit of a desperate move. Oh, <laughs> what a pass. The pass in the grass. The SVG style drift, exit out of the turn. That was a big dive. Can't believe that we managed to get through there without any contact. Wide there on the left hander, but we're through to third place. One more PJR Penske car to get through, and then it's our teammate to challenge for the win. Right out onto the runoff. You just got to have faith that the car's going to make it around that corner. So strong under brakes. Probably looks like I'm just braking early to keep it interesting, but I'm really not. I don't think I could go a lot deeper under brakes there without missing the corner. side but run really wide. The power down nicely and clear for the turn into the second corner there. Excellent pass. So now it's my teammate Golding. Can I catch him and beat him? Gast Hander on the top step of the podium. At the minute Gary Rogers motorsport one two. Well Gary would be pleased with that. to get this done. And then first we need to catch him. Really faster than all the other cars on the track. So catching him will be a little more difficult. Make up so much time there at turn one. Well these tyres though are starting to feel pretty rubbish. bridging this gap. Big, big curb launch. That was nice through the left-hander there. Short shift up. Yeah, to try and eliminate some wheel spin there in the kink. And short shift to second out of the hairpin. Help a lot. Still got massive wheel spin. Tyres are really starting to hate it though. Very understeery. Our tyres are not liking it. And then huge wheel spin off the corners at the minute. We're getting there. Six laps to go. Heaps of time. Been bad.
drift as we touch that curb. Tell you what, rolling is a lot quicker than the other cars. You can see the gap in the mirror all the way back to third place now. Having to push quite hard to catch up. We are getting there, a little bit by little bit. It's going to be harder to get past though, I think. With his speed. We're getting a good run here though. I have to go. Still got plenty of time. We don't want to upset Gary though. We do not want to hit each other, take each other out. Now we're there. Let's see if we can gauge his weaknesses. Spin out of the out of the hairpin. The exit of the hairpin is what hurt us the most. There, we're not going to be close enough this time. I don't think I want to go for the big dive into turn two again. That was a scary move. Oh! <laughs> I got a massive run off the turn but could not get around him in time. We pumped into the rear bumper, locked us up, checked us up. We won't be passing here. Show the nose, but again, I have way too good under brakes down there. Better run off of, off of here for the final part of the lap. Might be close enough to get the run on the straight here. Oh yeah, here we go. For the lead. Three laps to go. Had to break early because this corner tightens up on us. Oh, oh this is a bit messy. Oh. Side by side through here hasn't worked so far in this race, so rather than take my teammate out, let him go. Here we go again, big run. Clear though, so this probably will struggle to get this pass done here. Oh. <laughs> I, saw, I just knew it was coming. AI. Obviously not programmed to realise when there's someone next to him there. We'll get there, we'll get there. Two to go on the line this time by. Oh, here we go, we've got a good run this time. This is it. We could get this clear before turn one this time. And we do. Stop, turned in nicely, two laps to go. Just got to bring it home now, don't make any more mistakes. We're well clear. Let's see if we can check away. Looks like uh, that car is starting to struggle. The grip and pace. extra scary landing and get sideways on the bounce so his car looked like it was starting to struggle my car definitely struggling feathering the throttle in first gear trying not to get wheel spin Nice healthy margin now with one lap to go. Last lap. I mean, we're lucky we had 40 laps. We wouldn't have been able to get it done much sooner. We will take Garth Tander from last place, 24th on the grid, to the front at Pukekohe for the Auckland Super Sprint. 
cool to see Garth do the same thing this weekend, pick up a win. I am a Garth Tander fan, I like Garth. Always enjoy seeing him do well. People have been asking me a lot lately who I who I cheer for. With Lowndes retiring, Garth might become my new favourite driver for a little while until he ends up retiring as well. We'll come through the final complex for the final time. Pick up the win at Booker Coey. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on Twitter at Hobbo88 and twitch.tv forward slash Hobbo88 for the live streams. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.